They're a great team, physical. I mean, they out rebounded us, and that's not easy. So, hats off to them. Mondo, what was it like facing the aggressiveness? Oh uh, well, I mean, like I said, they took us out a lot of our plays. Usually, like I said, most teams in the ACC and just regularly playing the caps. And they did a lot of denying. That's something we hadn't really seen, especially this early on in the season. So, definitely kind of threw our offense off a little bit. And I mean, they did a great job boxing me out, and that kind of, you know, my rebounding is infectious on this team, that's something we kind of hang our hat on. Me not being able to do that, it kind of just threw us all off. And then you totaling all the fouls, I mean, you look back at our early scrimmage versus records, I mean, we probably had like 50 fouls as a team. I had like nine fouls, so we definitely got to get better at just not fouling and being more disciplined. Armando, the flip side, defensively, you guys held them under 30% shooting. How, how good do you think this team can be defensively? I mean, good. That's encouraging that we did do a good job defensively. I mean, besides, I said, like, the fouling is great because, I mean, the offense going to come. I mean, Caleb didn't play a good game, RJ, me, P, Leafy. Really, none of us played a good games besides maybe, like, Tom and Nick. We did good. So once that all come together, I mean, it's going to be good, and it's just game one. What was going on with the offensive glass? I mean, Hubert said it's a point of emphasis. You guys have yeah. to grab a higher percentage of misses. It wasn't there tonight. I mean, I was trying to get to the glass. They was just finding me and kind of knocking me off the rhythm. And usually they just fall into my hands, but they didn't fall into my hands tonight. So, I mean, credit to them. You were one away from a double-double. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's crazy. The streak in. It's days. all good. It's all good. I needed that. Is that the most important thing to remember, Armando, that it, you said it is game one? Is that like something you remember here? Is so, the expectations are so high. Yeah, I mean, after the game, our mood was like kind of like still. But then when I said in the locker room, like, yo, it's game one. And then the coaches, they came in very encouraged. And I know a lot of guys probably thought they wouldn't be happy. But I mean, we was all excited saying good job on game one. I mean, it's a long season. And like I said, UNCW, they're a really good team. So, and they did a great job game plan versus us. And I mean, we just got to learn. and. We got a lot of new faces on our team too, so once it all comes together, we'll be good. I know that you guys say that you kind of take it one step at a time, try to be even keeled, but the energy during during introductions, play introductions, it was a little bit like a, like a conference game. And it's November 7th, and I think it signifies what the fans expect from you guys. They expect you to be a championship game in November, but kind of what you were saying with Adam, you can't be a championship game in November yet. Yeah, I mean, 100%, that's a lot of expectations, but I mean, Hey, I mean, I'd rather be in that situation than, you know, people not believing in us. So I guess we just kind of got to embrace it. And, I mean, shout out to the fans. They showed out. I mean, it was live in there. You would have thought we was playing like an ACC opponent, like you said. So it was great. And, I mean, hopefully it just continues like that the rest of the season. How would you feel about what you saw out of Seth Trump? Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's going to be good. Uh, he got all the tools. You know, he can defend. And just coming in like that, especially in a game like that when I'm out, for a long time as a freshman and playing those big minutes, I mean, it's tough. So credit to him, and I mean, just shout out to him. He's going to be good.